she's perfect. Everything about her is perfect. Everything from her looks to her personality. Everything. Her beauty is what first got me interested. I saw her across the schoolyard. She walked with her head held high and projected her radiance to all who could see. Her face was immaculate. Her friends, however, were rotten. I would watch as she walked away, taking her aura of grace and beauty with her. In the shadow of her existence, her rotten friends always talked about how they bet she's doing obscene things with obscene people, but I know, I know the truth. If she was with someone, I would be the first to find out. Oh, well. That's all in the past now. Because <laughs> they were dealt with. Anyway, none of that matters. When I laid my eyes on her, I knew she had to be mine. I wouldn't let her slip away and be with anyone else. She is so kind. Anyone she meets, so naive. Approaching her was easy. Of course, prior to my approach, I did research. Eight months and twelve days of research. I knew what band she liked, her favorite color, her favorite sleeping position. Most importantly, I knew her route to school. Oh, how smart she is. Efficient, too. Did you know she cuts across an alley on her way to school every single fucking day, saving her four minutes? Of course you didn't, but I did. She chose such a perfect alley. It was out of the way dark in between two apartment complexes. 748 on the dot. She passed by there. On January 18th, she was sick and didn't come. I was furious. How could, how could this mere virus steal her away from me? It was all okay in the end. I was still able to brush her soft hair as she slept. Oh. Sorry, I got a bit off topic. It's easy to do so when you're talking about something so, ah, uh, in, indescribably perfect. That's right, my approach. In it, I think I may have come across as a bit bold, but nonetheless, when I professed my love to her, she screamed in delight. It must have been because of the the devotion I displayed for her when I told her of my research and or the reason the close friends I mentioned earlier disappeared so suddenly. Hmm. She was in such an uplifted mood that she wanted to, she wanted to play tag with me. Oh, what a girl. I was faster than her and quickly caught her. Again, she squealed with joy. It was probably from sheer delight that she fainted. I didn't want her to catch a cold, so I took her home with me. I watched her. The way her chest rose and fell while she slept was so cute. Everything about her just perfect. Her skin was so soft. It was like silkily better in every conceivable way. And better yet, she was mine. <laughs> Forever mine. When she finally awoke from her beauty sleep, she saw that she was strapped to a table in a dark room. Her confused face was adorable. 
When I approached with my knife, her eyes widened with love. She even started to cry and mumble sweet things under her ball gag because of the cheerful bliss she felt. What a gal! I will never forget that beautiful smooth skin. It allowed for my blade to glide so easily inside it. Her muffled wailing and ecstasy only encouraged me. I started small cuts here and there. After about a half an hour of this, I lost control and inserted my blade into her beautiful chest. At this point, she was so happy she couldn't speak. So was I. I was careful not to touch her perfect holy face. All of that fun! Made for quick disposal of the bits and pieces. Oh. As for her head, I made special care to place it gently in the freezer with the others. Mm. 